hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be letting you know about pscap pscap is an online 3d animation software that you can use anywhere from around the world as long as you have a good internet connection you can access pscap on your web browser such as chrome edge safari and firefox since this is an online base you don't have to worry on installing or heavy load 3d package on your computer just you and your internet and you are good to go with pscap you have access to hundreds of 3d templates and scenes which you can edit change color change light shadows character posts and export it as image or videos now let me walk you through on how to use pscap so first thing you need to do is to create an account when you go to the site as you can see, I already have an account with them, so you just have to create your own account. Okay, now you can see here that we have a lot of templates and scenes which you can use in your project. Just stick around to the end of this video so you can see how to get 20% off your purchase. Now, to get started, you just have to click on my project. And you can see that I already have two projects here which I use for practicing. And mind you, you only need a basic 3D knowledge to be able to use Pixcap. Okay, now this is how the interface looks like. And you can see that everything looks very simple and very basic. So, don't have heavy loads of parameters I just made here. You can see everything just looks very simple. Now, as a Blender user, you will even realize that Pixcap 3D navigation is much more easier than blender because everything just looks simple as the interface is and when you just click on the add which is on the left corner up there you can see that we have our basic 3d tools we use on a daily basis now you can see our 3d tool and we can just click on the cube just to see it now you can see that the cube works just like any other 3d software and you can just drag around the 3d system and also for the rotation too you can see that the rotation also works fine and also the scale you can see that everything just as a normal 3d package okay you can just delete that and when you just go to the top left corner you click on the library and you will see that we have a lot of 3d assets which we can use in our scene and also we have 3d scene which is a complete 3d animation that you can use they are ready made and you can just input them click on one of them you like and also the download is fast so you don't have to worry about the internet connection so much and you can see that everything looks like a normal 3d click on the camera also to check the camera and just switch to the camera view and you can see that everything works as normal yeah so now for this you can do a lot with this scene also you can edit this scene if you like you can change the color change the light Okay, now to change the color, you just have to click on the 3D model itself, then you see the color and you can just switch off the color you like and change anything you want out of the color and also you can just click on the art right there, then change the color and switch to any color you prefer. You can see that this works in real time, you don't have to worry about lagging of internet. If you have good internet, don't worry, it works very fast and very smooth. Alright, also you can even change the light intensity, you can change the background color, you can switch on and off the grid. Also, you can see that this is a background color which I'm changing right now. You can turn off the grid, you can off the background if you don't want the background to be there. And also if you want to off, turn off the grid, you can see that when you check under here, you can see we have the grid under here. And also if you want to turn it off, you can see we don't have it anymore under the hand. Also for the light color, you can also change the light color, which is the background color. You can see this is the light color. Now it affects the scene and also you can increase the light intensity, which also works very, very fine. And also you can notice we have shadows on the floor, which is very, very correct. Okay, and this is how the scene works. In our left hand side here, we have all the scene file, which consists of the 3D model and all. You can see that every object here has its own file here. 
yeah now this is a new scene i just deleted all the 3d i did before now i just click on the library to add another new scene so i've just created a 3d model now i just click on this bike here and you can see that it's loading very very fast okay now we have our bike i want to do some quick animation to this so let me just show you how the animation works just click here down there on the left corner down on the graph editor like blender we have that in blender also so this is the timeline as you can see that and why you just i want to do some quick animation to this just to animate the bike so i'll just click on the bike just drag it forward so i did that and you can see that it's assigned a single keyframe animation to that and i will drag it back to assign the full animation so when i play this you can see that the bikes works forward and this is very much basic okay so the next thing i would like to do is to add a ground plane to our scene so i'll just go out of this so let me just off this first all right so now i can just add a ground plane so i'll just click on the add there and i will just add a plane you can see this is the plane and i will just click on the scale here so i will just scale it up a bit it's too big just nothing too crazy just like that and i will just scale it up so you can see that this is appearing yellow it is not yellow it's because of the light intensity so i'll just click i will just deselect the plane you can see that then if i deselect it now then i can have the options for the light again so okay so let me just deselect it now I click on the light then change the color back to white now i can just change the color of the object to gray now note this is the color of the object not the light anymore okay now i will just add also a line maybe a thin line i will just click on the plane then i will scale it down a bit then i will scale it on the z okay you will notice that the way the navigation work here is different from blender blender works z up and this works y up like maya and other 3d package except 3d xmas 3d xmas also works z up okay this is the line i just added and i want to drag it up a bit just a bit yeah now you can see everything works fine so for this software you don't have to worry so much about your cpu because this provide the best for you so just know that okay now as i promise to get 20 percent off your purchase if you go to my video description all the necessary link are there you can use my promo code and get 20 percent off your purchase and also you can join their facebook instagram and discord of designers where you can get inspiration from other creators as well thanks for watching